Oh, hi there. I'm Bob the Tomato. Uh, come on over to my house. Welcome to my house. It's the one up on the hill. It's the place I cook my dinners, take my baths, and pay my bills. It's the place that I get letters from kids like you. Hi, Bob. Hi, Larry. Every day we get a letter. Gotta make the problem better. Do you like my yellow sweater? Veggie Tales. You've seen us on TV. But now at last we're on TV. From Portland to Schenectady. It's Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales. It'd be time for Veggie Tales. Isn't it a little warm to be wearing a sweater? It's a loose knit. Hi, kids, and welcome to Veggie Tales. On TV. Right, oh, Larry. And we're waiting for a letter with a question that we're going to answer. Right again. There it is. Mail, mail, here is your mail. It's here in my bag, not in bucket or pail. I bring it through hailstorm or blizzard or gale, for I am the man who delivers your mail. Nice song, Jimmy. Where's the letter? It's right here. I'll just put it through the mail slot. You can just hand it to me. No trouble, don't mind a bit. Ugh. We're gonna have to do something about that mail slot. Well, what's it say? It says, Dear Bob and Larry. That's us. Uh, yes, I know. Dear Bob and Larry, Marvin is mean to me. He takes my toys at playtime. I built a tower with blocks and he smashed it. Frederico says I should smash his tower too. What do you think? Peter Hammond, Indiana. Well, Pete, I came as soon as I could. Clearly, what Peter needs is a story from my big book of oddities. We were just... Uh, let's see. Ah, here it is. In 1523, Giuseppe Palermo built a tower entirely out of cabbage. People came from miles around to see Giuseppe's cabbage tower and to buy his homemade mayonnaise. But Giuseppe's neighbor Guido was angry, for the cabbage tower was blocking his view. So one night, he pulled down the tower destroying the mayonnaise stand and smashing the cabbage to bits. Giuseppe was furious and vowed revenge until he noticed Guido had inadvertently invented coleslaw, which turned out to be an even bigger hit than the cabbage tower. The end. So, Peter, go ahead and smash those towers. You just might reinvent coleslaw. You're kidding me, right? What? Should I be? Uh, Pete, uh, forget everything you just heard. Uh, listen to this story instead. I'm on my way. That was good too, I suppose. You see, Pete, being mean to a bully just makes you a bully too. We're supposed to be kind to our enemies. If we do, we'll find out we have the power to turn enemies into friends. That was beautiful, Bob. Thanks, Larry. Hey, kids, thanks for coming to my house today. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. But where will we get the coleslaw? What? If we're all kind and we don't knock down each other's towers, where will we get the coleslaw? It was from the store, Archibald. There are companies that make coleslaw nowadays. You can just buy it at the store. Really? What an age we live in. How about the baked beans? <laughs>